हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ रियल एनालिसिस बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी एस आई नेट जी आर एफ देन हियर इज अ गुड न्यूज फॉर यू वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग सेवन थाउजेंड सॉल्व that includes previous year questions as well and revision material for each and every topic for this material and 7000 questions you can register at the link given below in the description or you can contact us directly at dnmaths@gmail.com moving on to the question the question is evaluate limit x tends to 0 1 upon x square minus 1 upon sin square x and the options are a 1 upon 3 b 1 upon 6 c minus 1 upon 3 and d minus 1 upon 6 i would recommend you to pause the video over here and first try this question by yourself now let us solve the question Firstly we can easily see that here when we apply the limit that is limit x tends to 0 we get infinity minus infinity which is an undefined form so we need to solve this so we take the lcm and we get limit x tends to 0 sin square x minus x square divided by x square into sin square x now we all know that sin x is nothing but 1 minus x cube upon 3 factorial plus x raised to 5 upon 5 factorial and so on whole square because it is given that this sin square x you should know the series of sin x minus x square divided by x square into sin square x moving on taking x square common from the numerator and so sorry from the numerator only so we get limit x tends to 0 x square into 1 minus x square upon 3 factorial plus x raised to 4 upon 5 factorial whole square minus 1 now we might be thinking that why we took the x square as common because it is available in the denominator so we can cancel that out and watch carefully that when you are taking x square common from the numerator from the series of sign you only take x as common because it is already whole squared so when we take x and it comes out it becomes x squared moving on further we eliminate the x square from the numerator and denominator so we get limit x tends to 0 1 minus x square upon 3 factorial plus x raised to 4 upon 5 factorial whole square minus 1 upon sin square x which is again a 0 upon 0 that is undefined form so now we differentiate the numerator and the denominator to get the result that will give us limit x tends to 0 2 into 1 minus x square upon 3 factorial plus x raised to 4 upon 5 factorial into applying the chain rule minus 2x upon 3 factorial plus 4x cube upon 5 factorial and so on divided by the differentiation of sin square x that is 2 sin x cos x this will give us the term limit x tends to 0 2 into 1 minus x square upon 3 factorial plus x raised to 4 upon 5 factorial into minus 2x upon 3 factorial plus 4x cube upon 5 factorial divided by sin 2x and that will be again a 0 upon 0 undefined form so we need to again differentiate the numerator and denominator that will give us limit x tends to 0 minus 4 upon 3 factorial plus the remaining terms that will be containing x the only first term that will not contain x will be minus 4 upon 3 factorial and you can easily get this term simply multiply 2 with the first term and then multiply that term with minus 2x upon 3 factorial and taking the differentiation it will give us minus 4 upon 3 factorial the denominator's differentiation will be sin's differentiation is cos 2x and into 2 that is chain rule now we get limit x tends to 0 minus 4 upon 2 into 3 into 2 into 1 now this 2 is from the denominator and cos 
zero will be one, so the cos zero removes, and we only get two into three into two into one, and that will give us the final result as minus one upon three, and that is option C. Thank you, and you can be a member of our social club and watch 230 plus videos on our YouTube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our Telegram channel.